There you are. I'm back here somewhere. My name is Mr. Paul. I'm an artist and an art teacher, and I'm glad you're here today. Um, I hope you've been doing okay since the last time I saw you. Hope you've been creative. Hope you've been making some artwork. That be, you know, that's kind of my life. And I know that there are other people out there, including a lot of young people, that love to make art. They love to draw. They like to make stuff with their hands. You know, when I was a kid, I did. I loved building stuff and making stuff with my hands. So I know there's a lot of you out there that love to do the same thing. Today, uh, the name of the project is Paper Chihuly. Now, that may, you may not know what that is, and I'm, but I'm about to tell you. Um, there is an artist that's a living artist. His name is Dale Chihuly, and he's a glass artist. He makes stuff out of glass. Well, let me say it this way. Not just stained glass windows. Most people think of stained glass as just stained glass windows. He makes these incredible sculptural pieces, big ones, like real big ones, out of blown glass and uh, in fact our Oklahoma Museum of Art downtown has a huge huge collection of Chihuly and um, uh, there if you've never been to that museum and see, seen it you really need to go it'll blow your mind you'll look at it and you're gonna you'll think how how can you do that it's just this wonderful wonderful very, very colorful stuff. Well, we're not going to be working in glass because we can't, right? But I thought that we could. what we could do is we could make some sculpture that kind of looks like his work, but make it out of paper, make it out of uh, construction paper or cardstock, a thicker paper. And it has to be a really thick paper. Let me tell you what we're going to be needing. We're going to be needing uh, uh, cardstock. Cardstock is just kind of a thick paper, like a real thick paper, or construction paper. Construction paper. I made mine out of construction paper. Let me move this a little bit so I can see. There we go. Uh, oh, construction paper. You can use. I would suggest that you use really colorful construction paper. You need scissors. You need a glue stick. And you need some tape. Going to need some tape. We're going to be using tape and glue to put these things together. Now, Del Chihuly, uh, you notice that th there is a cylinder here. This shape, this pink shape right there, is called a cylinder. And uh, it's what it is, is that you take a piece of construction paper, right? And you just fold it like this, right? and you have a cylinder. Well, that's how we're gonna start out. That's one of the first things that we're gonna do, how we're gonna start out. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to uh, cut out a piece of, of, this is gonna be your base, do it in color. Now, I've what I've done is I have put a piece of cardboard, I have a bunch of cardboard around the studio. I just cut a small piece of cardboard, right? You don't have to do that. You can put a couple of pieces together of, of uh, uh, construction paper, glue them together, right? But if you want to do that, that's cool. Uh, put a lot of uh, uh, glue on the back of it. And this is going to be your base, right? Now, before we get into all of this, I want to say something about glue sticks. I love glue sticks, but because we're working with thicker paper, when you put this glue on, right, instead of just going like that, it will not hold the cardstock or the construction paper. Actually, what you're going to be needing to do is what I do is I take almost like take a pencil, right, like that, and I put it on my paper like that. And then I press it down. And when you press it down, this is not going to be a quick rush, 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 rush kind of project. 
And the reason is, is because you're working with thicker paper. You have to, you know, you have to um, uh, hold it in place for a while. So the glue will set up and it'll dry. And if you, if you have a little problem with that, take a little piece of tape and put it in place. All right. So we're going to glue and we're going to tape. Okay. So once you get your base done, and again, if you're not going to use cardboard, that's fine, but do maybe two pieces of your construction paper together. You need a base that's a little bit heavier. Right, so that's why I want. That's why either we use a cardboard or we use two sheets of of construction paper and glue them together, and really glue them together really really well. The next thing you're going to do, and I would say this is going to be the hardest thing to do, is to make this thing into a cylinder. And what I suggest you do is use your tape. And what I would do is go ahead and cut out three or four small little pieces of tape and just kind of put them on the edge of your table so you'll have them ready, right? There we go. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this, this, this construction paper and you're going to fold it over a little bit. See? Just a little bit. And it's going to take a little getting your fingers correct, right? But hold one end down, tape it, hold it down again. piece of tape here. See what I see that? You can stick your hand in the bottom of it. That way you can hold it and really press down because this has to be really, really, really secure. And this is going to go directly on top of this. Okay. Now, how are we going to put this together? We're going to use tape again. Okay, one more time, get about four pieces of tape, about that big, put them on the side of your table, all right? Now, this is what I suggest you do. Watch what I'm doing. I'm putting half of it like that. Twist it around. I've got, remember, I've got four pieces of tape. See what I'm doing? There we go. See how I've done that? Okay, kind of bend them down a little bit like that. Place them in the center of your cardboard. And really press down on them. Now, what I suggest you do is cut you out some tabs like this. That's what I'm calling them. Put some glue on them. And look how much glue that I put on there. I'm going to put these tabs over the tape. And all I'm, all I'm really doing is I'm really securing this cylinder to the base. Remember? 
That's a good one. When you're when we're using like really light thin paper, you don't really have to worry too much about about um, the glue. But when you're working with a thicker paper, boy, you just have to really put that glue on. Put more glue than you think you need, okay? Now, if this was a Dale Chihuly vase, he's got this series, and I don't really, I don't remember what the name of this group of, of sculpture he did, but they're these big, beautiful, really, really, really thick, gorgeous, colored glass cylinders like this, right? And you think, okay, those are vases that, you know. But what he did is he made, like, these weird things that kind of come off of it. So it wasn't just your typical vase, right? He put, now, try to imagine all of this in glass. And look, you can't see it, but there's a flower on this thing. We'll talk about how to do that flower in a minute. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to make some strips like this. Right? And I'm going to put a big old thing of glue there. And I'm going to just put maybe three or four Now keep in mind, remember what I said about you can, you have to let it let the glue set up, meaning it has to dry a little bit. If you try to do these really, really fast, the glue's not going to take, right? And so, now here, this is where the fun begins. This is, you can, you can make all kinds of things see what I did there and let's see let's do a red one let's do a and this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lot of glue on it and I'm going to make just a circle right you know how to do those. We've made chains before. See, like that. Now, talk about putting a lot of glue on it. I'm going to take some, take a pencil and get a thing of glue there. I'm going to put it there. And then, I'm going to put it there. Now, I could have put it there, there, or there, but I chose to do it this way. See? Another thing that you can do is like you can take a strip like this and you can kind of like fold it in half. See what I did it? See? Fold it like that. Then I take my glue and I really put a lot of glue on it. I know, I keep saying it over and over again. Right? And what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to glue it like this. Now I'm going to show you just a few things that you can do. Guys, you can really kind of do anything that you want, right? And I want you to. I want you to experiment. That's the, that's, to me, that's, that's the fun part, is what else can I do? Mr. Paul, he told, you know, we did the circles, we did this, we did this. But what's something else that I can do, right? 
come up with something on your own, something that you can actually. You got a good, good cup of blue. I'm gonna put one over here. And I'm gonna take my moment and just press on it, put my hand in it so I can press my fingers together to really, really hold this in place. And again, if you have a little problem holding them in place, get you a piece of tape and tape them on. Yeah, Del Chihuly is, is a phenomenon. He's just this amazing guy that started out doing simple, you know, glass, blown glass, stuff like that. Uh, and he has become this international artist by doing these amazing chandeliers and anyway I really really recommend that you get online and check out his work <clears throat> and if you can get your folks to take you to the museum downtown Oklahoma Art Museum I mean they had one floor with just this tons and tons of his work that's just you know, we use clay, I mean, uh, glue to tape these on, but when they're glass, they don't use glue, right? They fuse it on, which means the glass is really, really, really hot. And so you have this hot cylinder that's still, it's holding its shape, but it's still really, really hot. I mean, it'll like burn the, you know, the skin off of you. It's so hot. And then they take an object like this that's really hot too, and they what what it's called they fuse it together. Basically, they're gluing the two together, but they're not using glue. They're just using the heat and the hot glass, and when they come together, they stick together. Um, pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's do this. Um, how about? We need a flower in this in this vase that we just made. And so what I wanted you to do is I'm, we're going to roll this piece of paper up together. And before you do it, get your piece of tape, lay it, get it right here so you'll have it. And what I want you to do is I want you to, we're going to be rolling these pieces of paper and we're going to try to roll from this point down to this point. I don't want you to do it this way or this way. I want you to roll the paint. Try to. And it's it can be a little difficult, but try. Right? And so what you what you're trying to do is you're trying to make this really kind of as thin as you can, this roll of paper. So this tube. So this is going to be the stem of your flower. This may take you a couple of tries to do, but you can do this. We do this kind of work in my classes at, at, at school all the time, right? So we got that. And we need, let's say, we need some leaves, right? right? Okay, and what I want you to do is I want you to make and I, let me cut this out. I want you to put a little stem on it. And then these little football shape, which are leaves. See that? And I want you to bend this over like that. Right? And again. Yep. 
lot of glue and it'll take a little while for it to, to set up you might what you might want to do is put a piece of tape on it on this little tab here Now, the flower, you can do it in a variety of ways. I did it this way, like this little rosebud or something like that. But you can do them any way that you want. In fact, I had a kid the other day. Well, it's been a couple of months now. But what he did, what he did is that he took a piece of paper like this, right? And he crumpled it up. sounds kind of weird but I thought it was kind of neat that he did it in fact it was so neat that I decided I wanted to do it that way too and with this let's not even try to glue it what you're going to do is you're going to tape this piece And you're going to be needing a couple of pieces of tape, for sure, maybe even three. Make sure that you put the tape on the pink flower, right? And the stem, the green stem. Look at that. Kind of looks like a flower, doesn't it? Kind of like a rose or something like that. So let's set this back over here so you can see it. Okay. Now I just put one of these flowers in like that. But you can make a bunch of flowers. You know what you could do is you could make this give it to your mother. Give it to your grandma. She might really kind of like this. But anyway, this is a fun project that, you know, about an hour, hour and a half out of your day, you could make these. Now keep in mind, these are paper. They're not going to last forever, but that's okay. Uh, it's uh, good to try to, you know, make new things, try new things. This is a three-dimensional object. You know, there's a couple of, of, of different kinds of art. We have what's called two-dimensional art, which is like a painting on a wall. Uh, it's got height and it's got width but this is a three-dimensional piece not only does it have height and width but it's got depth it's got three dimensions so anyway i hope you enjoyed this uh, again i i always tell my kids that uh what you might want to do is you might want to look at the video a couple of times, right? Uh, do one originally uh, to see if you want to do the project or something, and then stop it, gather up your materials. While you're gathering up the materials, you can have an idea in your head about what you want to do, how many flowers you want to do, how many add-ons you want to do, you can do a lot more than this. You could add all kinds of stuff to it. Just make sure. I know I've said it a million times this 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 period of time. Don't skimp on glue. 
use lots and lots of, I, I've said it before, I know that a te I said this in front of a teacher once and she goes, don't use that, don't use that word. And because what I said is, I said, what you need to do when you use glue like this is you need to, to leave a glue booger behind. Ew, I know, I know, don't tell your parents. But anyway, it's a, it, you, you have to leave a little glump of glue on this construction paper uh, or it will not hold. Right, and if you're going to go to all this trouble, take the time and put a little bit more on here. You know. So listen, that's all for me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's going to be a gorgeous day today. Go out, go in your backyard or wherever you go, and you know, stay safe, have some fun. This weather's been gorgeous lately. I don't know if you've been outside in the evening, but it has just been beautiful, beautiful. Um, so, take care, have fun, and by all means, don't be bored. See you next time.